some hype better happen because something big just happened on these other two stories. So, John, get your ass up. Let's go fucking do something, man. Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realize April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? gonna be some movie shit. They're gonna have to run into that old man again. Randomly, some fucking hell. Till then, let's do this corny shit. Wish me luck. Well, wish me luck. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. You got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Your I shirt in. Be the pack alpha. <clears throat> Chew on a mint so your breath isn't gross. I want to go back to bed. You can sleep when you're dead. Go get them. Bring home the bacon. This is fucking hilarious, though. He got his feet up in the interview. You doing an interview with your feet up? CVs? Pointless. Okay. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper. You agree? Yeah, I agree. It's all about the one-on-one. -on -one. Man on man. This is sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual. Someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. And what big shoes they are. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A board to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. Corpses, you see. Out with the old, in with the new, right? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? Uh, you know me. I'm a I'm fucking Liverpool guy. Liverpool? Man. Top lad. Well, you'll never walk alone around here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say. Don't shit on your own doorstep. Don't do it. It's a mantra I hold dearly. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Look at that. Your boy did it, like always. Get in! Get in. Hey, Dad! How's the interview? It was rocking. Where's Clive? And Clive? Thankfully, and Clive's... Clive's prejudice fell into my favour. I'll start tomorrow. Woo woo! Pizza on Dad! Woo woo! Yeah, who's up? For who's that? up for some celebratory takeaway? I think I'll have an early night. What's wrong, girl? Congrats, etc. What's that happening? What's that with Jack? You've been there with him all day. Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! Ooh. Spicy beef. Yes, I'm late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. Oh, when nice. I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have stayed in your old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Everything. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? 
It's going to be funny the next time we have parents Bro, evening. Bro, put some toothpaste. Maybe I can say I have a tooth. And some fucking water on if that Jack shit. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe we should get one of those pull-out sofa yeah, beds. Yeah, get the other side, bro. Other Actually, side. Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the sofa. That way I can watch TV all the time. Right, brushing man. Styling today. Yo, this look just like a suit and tie I used to have. This ugly ass thing. Man, it look like some shit I used to wear to church. Forgot something? Always. Uh, um. Phone. I'll ring it. Hey, guy on the couch. Okay. Oh. Easy does it. What you doing? Uh, Good trying morning. to kiss you, bro. I just needed my phone. Why is he sleeping on your phone? Brace ya! Dad! Oh, got it. Get out of here. Get out of here. You jacks wick, you know? Too slow. Get out of here. I know about your predicament. Come see me. The vape lord. The vape lord. Look at that. That's all you had to do was wait for something to happen. A movie incident, man. Something's gonna happen. You can just live like this for the rest of your life. That would be weird. You wanna make a good movie? Somebody might wanna see you doing no office job for another 25 years. You're going the right way. All right. All right. What's good? So I got a strange note through my door oh, from damn, I someone been called conspicuous. the Fate Lord. Is that you? Hello. Yes, that was me. Oh, Which one am care. I talking to? You haven't swapped into someone else, have you? Wow. Okay. Uh, no. Have you got something to do with all this? I heard you and that other fellow on that podcast. You know. Behind the curtain. Oh, shit. Good show, that. Bit too many ads, but who am I to complain? Anyway, Frank has been searching everywhere for you. Frank? Who's Frank? What are you on about? You know, Frank. The guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago. He's my brother. Really? A curse? He did this? Where is he? Switch us back! Firstly, let me say how sorry he was. Commuter rage. <laughs> you know how it is. He was actually on his way out of here when you bumped into him. Bit of a whinger. Didn't much like Britain in the end, so he headed back to the old country. It's such a shame he left so soon. Well, damn. Fine. Look, just tell me where he is, and I'll book a flight and meet him. But to be honest, mate, I was kind of hoping you'd take some e-liquid as compensation, or that'd be the end of it. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you having a laugh? I want this sorted! If you really want to see him... I guess I've got no choice. This is going to break the bank. All right. Listen, I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Just give me... Just tell me where he is so I can go. This is some trickery, man. That's him. That's him. Got tricked again. Don't make a habit of being late like this. Uh, come on now. Sorry, you're right. I'll step it up. Oh boy, so how are you finding late. mucking in with us? Wasn't it a bit low to steal John's job? Hmm. 
He was happy for me to take it over some idiot that Clive might have hired. I hope he's doing okay. I felt so upset for him when he got let go. Pardon? He worked so hard here just to be discarded like that. Pardon me. Pleasant I break. think he's enjoying the time off. At least that's something. Well, get a move on, Mr. Ambitious. Don't want to keep your mate Clive waiting. My mate. Friends now, we're cool. We're bros. I'd better get inside. Keep up, bitch. Yeah. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Why don't we grab a drink sometime? You know, get acquainted. Are you asking me out? Oh, shit. What? No, no, nothing like that. Just as friends. Nah, you're good. Hey, you're good. I think we might need to do another one of our performance reviews. Do we have to talk about this now? Ooh, a bit defensive. We'll have to talk about... Jackie boy, how's my star player doing? I was just telling this delectable beauty she's going to have to up her game if she wants to keep pace with a trailblazer like you. Can I go to my desk, please? You get those emails, the Photoshop ones of you-know-who. Uh, <laughs> have you been sharing doctored photos of me? You really outdid yourself on these. I know. Classics, right? Oh, they're definitely memorable. I don't imagine HR will be forgetting them any time soon. I figured they'd want to be in another joke too. You sly goose. Betrayed by your own wingman, Clive. Wow. Oh, that's got to hurt. You're just having me on, right, Jack? Just to wind up? On, just to wind up. That's it. Whatever it is, it made me laugh. A classic, you could say. Piss. Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. <sighs> Here we go. These things never understand me. Oh, John never liked those things either. We're sorry to hear you're having difficulties. We'll transfer you to an operator. Wow, you are number one in the queue. I guess it's your lucky day. You got fired? You gone? Oh, damn. I wasn't trying to get him fired, but I mean, it was fucked up, though. Trying to be no simp. Hey, Shaz. Hey. I'm heading home. Walk to the station? That stunt you pulled on Clive was great. You should have said you were going to stitch him up like that. I feel bad. Kind of feel bad. Feel it's the sort of thing John always wanted to do, but couldn't. He's got it in him. He just likes to play it careful. No, John's never got no titty pictures of you from him. Same time tomorrow. Promise I won't be late again. You're all right, you know. I can see that Smith family resemblance. Tell John that I miss him, okay? Okay. anymore Jack I thought we were friends what's Dad on, Jack's leaving us yeah Jack, right, what's Molly. Wrong? now that you're sorted with your job and everything I figured this would be a good time for me to move on and be you a know, personal trainer life back on track he's moving up north I apply what? for a uni course in Hull Computer science. I've got the loans sorted and everything. It starts in September. What are you doing? It's my body. Dude. So I don't get a say in this. It's my body, and you're the legal guardian of Molly. Yeah, that's right. You have to stay. It's the law. <laughs> yeah, it's your body, but it's my life. Have you once asked me about my problems? What about my mum and dad, my mates? I've lost all of them. How? I need to get real. 
Whatever this is that's happened to us, it's permanent. I need to get on with scraping together some sort of life for myself. I'm sorry, guys. That's It can't work like that. You're wrong. Listen, I, I, I spoke to this guy. He says he can help us. He calls himself the vape lord or something. John, mate, listen to yourself. You're losing it. I get the whole parent thing. I understand that you're worried. But no offence, you lucked out on this deal. You got to be a young man again. But I've lost out on 20 years. 20 years. Just shut up for once and listen. This guy can reverse the effects. He knew all about us. Doesn't that interest you? He's playing a prank on you, you idiot. He's winding you up. He's pulling your string. I have never met anyone so unwilling to face the music. When you're having a bad run, sometimes you have to press reset. <laughs> oh, shit, Jesus, yeah, man, and you're good. Medicine. Try going to the gym occasionally. Dad, you're hurting him. You ever been taking your medicine? Are you all right? Something's wrong. Dad, do something. Help me. Jack. You ain't been taking your heart medicine. That's the most hype thing to happen in your story, John. Come the fuck on, man. Let's it for John, man. About to see what's up with Donna. I got to see what's going on. And Mina, getting into some shit finally, but about to get caught up. We got Donna's next. Let's see what she got going on. Yeah.